1921, 101 years of Mitsubishi Electric. The fan was the first product. Roman, this is the audience watching a great tour from us here in Germany, which I'm excited about. Let's talk a little bit quickly about the history of what's going on at Mitsubishi Electric. Hi Tony, thanks for being here. So first of all, as you said, uh, 101 years old now, Mitsubishi Electric. The fan probably was the first product, the first serial product of Mitsubishi Electric. And we quite technically in advanced a, a little bit in the last 101 years. I'd say you most certainly did, and the audience is gonna get to see that as we walk through. And we're actually gonna get to play with a few things because it feels like a science museum in the area. So stay tuned for that, but first, have you guys seen Star Club Hamburg? Do you guys know the Beatles? Do you want me to sing to you? Probably not, but it has been a hard day's night and we've been working like a dog. You just got back from the US. But with that being said, let's head downstairs and take a look at this state-of-the-art facility that you have. Let's do so. All right, Roman, well, we made it downstairs. We have the state-of-the-art facility, and we're gonna talk about some topics from automation to technology to the environment and what's going on here in Germany, knowing that Mitsubishi is usually associated with a Japan style, right, a Japanese style. So let's go over all of this for the audience, and I think we're gonna start here with this screen, aren't we, which is kind of fun. Am I allowed to touch this? Uh, yes, okay. Excellent. In this you case, go first. But later I will tell you what you should not touch. <laughs> so actually this is a nice application that we probably normally use to explain our products because if you look around here you see so many things but it's pretty hard to explain it to let's say kind of normal people, not engineers and especially the CNC stuff because so let's say the problem with CNC machines is your audience knows that very well but actually have you ever tried to explain it to someone on the street? I have actually, and I've done a very poor job, and they still look at me like, um, I like my phone, I still have no idea how it's made. Yeah, right? exactly. And one thing we try to do is make it easy and crisp for the people to understand what is CNC and what is, uh, what is automation doing. So therefore we created this, this chart. You, so you can see a lot of things, you, you might think about, okay, what is this doing? But actually we explain our robots there, our TFT monitors there, we explain CNC there, we can touch on the products, on the product side, we can see, okay, there's the uh, TFT LCD monitors, the um, EDM machines, but we can also see the CNC part of it, if I find it. Well, as you're looking for it, it's kind of cool, and I want to say thank you, because so many times I have had a conversation, and I'm a very much a visual learner and a hands-on learner, so if you would explain something to me, which happens often, I go, Huh? Can you show me instead? So thank you for doing this for the audience as we walk through the facility to help us all understand a bit more about what you're doing here. So when you look at the CNC part of the, of the applications, you can see our Modos amplifier, our um, application, our HMI. And what I often do to explain CNC is I ask the people, what do you think how the, how the car works, how the mobile phone works, how, how does all our um, wor the world stick together? So it's crews made by CNC machines, it's plastic parts where a mold is needed, um, to, uh, it's manufactured by a CNC milling machine, for example. So that's um, nothing in our world would exist probably, expect of, of course the plants, um, uh, without CNC machines. Uh, Roman, let's take a walk, I, I talk this a little bit more. I, you know, I say the same thing when I go, everything on the planet is made by CNC machines minus us, air, maybe some plants. But it's really curious that the most of the world doesn't really know about it. And when I think of Mitsubishi Electric as well, I think there are so many different products. I was in my elevator this morning and I saw your logo there. I look up at the air conditioning unit, I see your logo there, so it's everywhere. And what I've found, Roman, is that Mitsubishi Electric ultimately is a solutions company is what I'm finding. It's not about these products and these products and these products, although your CNC line is fantastic. EDMs out there everywhere I look, but you really are a solutions company, aren't you? We are a solutions company, but also we, like say, we try to put the customer first. That's why you also see at them our main and biggest customers, you will not see our logos everywhere. You saw it when the applications from the, um, from the, let's say, automotive industry, we don't show up at the logo. When you drive a car, probably we don't show up er anywhere with a logo. So customer first. The uh, Japanese used to say, Okuyakusama no manzuka ichiban desu, means putting the customer first priority. So that's also kind of identity of us. 
I like that you brought out your Japanese just now. I need to. I'm, I'm, it's recorded. So yes, I, yeah, it is recorded. The only I, sentence I have. <laughs> Very nice. I know Kampai, and that's about all I know. But you're right. As I'm walking around here in your facility, I was seeing uh, machines. I was seeing uh, the, the face of the machine, but it had nothing to do with a Mitsubishi logo, which... It's kind of unique when we think about how most people go branding and how most people grow and expand and create awareness. But you guys have decided to go quality and customer service first. But also, of course, we have robotics and CNC where we are, let's say, more familiar with and where, where our heart beats for. So oh. we have the M800 control, the newest control for Mitsubishi Electric that we see here. We have the robots, the Melfa robots here, and probably both is linked to factory automation um, where we mainly talk about today. Yeah, and that's important to say as well. So for those of you who are taking this tour with us, if you want to see more on all these other aspects, by all means, come visit. You get to see all of this. For Roman and I today, we are going to focus mostly on the CNC side of things because that's, like you said, it's where our heart beats, right? Where are we coming from? This so is where we're coming from. We love it. We, we're passionate about it. Again, just to be somewhat redundant, it's creating the world around us and that's everything. So let's talk about the CNC side a little bit more and the automation side because I know Mitsubishi is big into the robots and cobots at this point as well, right? Exactly. So as you know, um, coming from the shop floor, you were a machine tool operator, I was a machine tool operator Correct. working in shifts for five years. So, and I can see that the, the um, CNC controls that we're using today makes our life much more easier. So we were shop floor programming, I was bringing like a, a mobile PC to my, to my machine, plug it in, send the, uh, send the uh, G code program, and then I was typing and typing for days. Now everything is much more easier. So we will see in the upcoming years, we will see uh, CNC control with added AI to it, to easy uh, program from a CAD system to a G code program. So we will see this. We will see handling solutions where we have a CNC, um, um, a CNC control um, controlling a robot with G code in our direct robot control, this is possible nowadays. So it's all become easier for people like us and even much more fun. Yeah, I agree with that. So we're gonna end this tour here, talking about the CNC, talking about Mitsubishi Electric. Are there any messages you'd like to convey to the audience as we close this tour out to invite them in, to come see what's going on? A little bit, you know, closing statements about Mitsubishi Electric for those of us watching right now. And as the sun, it's Beautiful, a little bit blinding me as well. <laughs> so actually I would say um, the best thing uh, about Mitsubishi CNC is the people. So last five years actually we have done so um, a big job in, in uh, training, educating, creating an environment of innovation in our, in our team. Also the heritage where we are coming from. We have people here that are working for 40 years for Mitsubishi Electric. We have people here that are working just for two years um, at Mitsubishi Electric and we wanted to create the same spirit among them and it was the last five years was just wonderful working with them and uh, as I, say, I see my job as creating the best environment for the people um, to taking like best care of our customers and that's what makes really Mitsubishi Electric uh, let's say a global partner but a local friend absolutely agree and normally this would be a mic drop moment but please don't drop my mic that was too no, good you but touched the robots before I guess you do owe it to me are you gonna drop my mic yeah oh don't do that come, but come on, come Danke on, come Shin, on. No, you are amazing no, Roman Tony, show are we the, gonna show them yeah show the people this what, is how we're concluding yeah. our tour yeah show the people what you did before all right, guys, I guess he's, he's not going to let me live this down. Earlier, I was playing with this whole situation. They were showing me what was going on with the robots. Apparently, there's a safety center here. Him. So I did it for him. And we shut it down. Just that it's not so embarrassing. But not only today. did we shut down the robots, we shut down the conversation as well. What a great way to end this, Roman. You are Thank amazing. You. Dankeschön. Thank Prost. You. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. And I'll see you again soon, my friend. Thank for you sure. all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Mitsubishi Electric here in Dusseldorf, Germany. Have a good time.